Okay, sorry for that interruption. We're managing the crowd noise here. Um, last question, Steve. And um, you are an unabashed conservative on fiscal issues, social issues, really pretty much every issue. Um, and the, uh, you were last week or two weeks ago when the, uh, the anniversary of Roe Reway, you were down in Trenton yeah. at a rally for the um, uh, the right to life people and yeah. wanted to turn over that. We had an interview just a few minutes ago with uh, Assemblyman Burke, who says that he does not want to abolish abortion. Um, two questions. Should social issues like abortion, uh, the right to life and the right to choose, be part of a campaign for a governor of New Jersey? And the second question would be, uh, should you win the nomination, um, do you, how will you respond to the Democrats inevitably trying to paint you as a, a right-wing extremist out of the mainstream of New Jersey, like they did to Schindler and all the way back to uh, Jim Porter? All right, that's a terrific question because they can try to paint me as a right-wing radical, that's fine with me. Because we all know that John Corzine is a left-wing liberal extremist. We know John Corzine is a total left-winger. He's committed to abolishing marriage as we know it. He'd like to provide free abortions in every street corner. He'd take away our gun rights. He wants to grow government so big that none of us continue to survive in the state. So there's a clear difference. He is a left-wing liberal. I'm a right-wing conservative. Now let's have a campaign. I'm very happy with that issue. Um, secondly, as governor of the state of New Jersey, I will have to make decisions on those key issues that affect our culture and our society. It is, it is, uh, you know, it's, it's not even reasonable to expect not to address things like the abortion issue, the marriage issue, our gun rights issue, homeschooling, school vouchers. These are critical social issues that affect the state, and both the legislature and the governor make key decisions on these issues. So it's only right that the voters of the state of New Jersey, of this state, know where their elected officials stand. And to try to dodge them because they're hot button issues is just not it's, it's a real it's a real measure of the character and the integrity of the candidate when they can take their position, articulate and defend it. And I believe most voters will respect that. I'm gonna have a lot of voters, people voting for me, who are pro-choice because they respect my position and they respect my position on the issue that's most important to them. Um, so these are how we're gonna define the differences between the candidates. I hope you vote that not Great. Steve Lanigan, good luck. Thank you very much for being with us. And I'm sure we'll be talking again. Well, thanks. Yeah.